Hello, everybody, and welcome to Programming with Ruby, Episode 6, Strings. I'm your presenter, Tyler, and this is brought to you by manwithcode.com. In this episode, I will be telling you what string literals are. I will be, I'll show you expressions that you can use with strings, which are similar but still different than expressions with numbers. I will show you useful methods that strings have. I will show you how to use regular expressions. And finally, I will tell you how to get input from the user. On to the code! All right. String literals. According to Wikipedia, string literals are the representation of a string within the source code of a computer program. For example, and here I'm going to open up Interactive Ruby. For example, hello world is a string literal. Now, if I do put s hello world, the hello world that put s displays on the screen is not a string literal because it is not in the source code. All right. Now, on to string expressions. The only string expressions are plus are the plus sign and the multiplication sign. So we can do hello plus world to connect the two strings into hello world. And let me add a space so that looks a little nicer. There we go. We can also use multiplication, multiplication symbol. So we can have hello and do times three, and it repeats it three times. All right. Now, some useful string methods. We have string dot empty, which returns true or false whether or not the string is empty or not. We can have hello. We can have a string dot length shows you how long the string is. Um, then string dot each. Kind of screwed that up. Hopefully that still works. Nope. Oh, compile error. Hold on. Let me do that again. There we go. And each char lets us iterate, iterate over each character of the string. Capitalize. Capitalize is the first letter of the word. Happy dot capitalize. There we go. Now happy is capitalized. Upcase makes all the letters uppercase. And down case makes all the letters lower case. There you go. Oops. Now, regular expressions are a way to match elements in other strings. It is it's easier to show you than to describe to you, so here we go. The simplest is the substitution, so we could have hello world dot sub for substitute. We'll substitute hello with goodbye. Are we good? Now it says goodbye world. Now if you have more than one hello, have hello, 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 dot sub does, and then hello, goodbye again. Now only this time one got changed, and you're probably wondering, well, why? Well, that's because the sub method only looks for the first instance or the first occurrence, whatever you want to call it, of the string and then it just stops. Now, g sub fixes this, the g sub method, so if we use g sub instead of stub, it's goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Alright, now, what if you, you want to manipulate parts of the strings using regular expression? The scan method is what you want. Alright, so who are you? Dot scan. Not scan. Oops. And just so you know, the things between the curly braces is a Ruby block. I'll be going over that sometime later, but that's the syntax for it. And there we go. That takes every two characters and prints it out. All right. Um. Now we can do this without white space, and instead of using the two dots, which is just any character, we use backslash w backslash w. And there we go, it doesn't use white space. Now, regular expressions are a really vast topic, and I don't completely know them, and I can't completely describe them to you in this episode, so I'm not going to. Now the last and most useful thing I'm going to teach you, 
it's very, very useful. You'll find yourself using it all the time on console applications, not so much in GUI applications, but is things with an interface like, you know, like a calcul like a GUI calculator like like this. This you wouldn't use this, but for something like this, this whole thing right here, you would be using it. So we can have A equals get S. And A is our, our variable, and get s means get string, which means we're getting a string from the user. So I'm just going to type Tyler my name, and put s Tyler, and there we go. It prints out my name. Now, that pretty much wraps it up for today's episode. Please do not forget to donate, because if you do not donate, there will be no more videos. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave this leave them in the comment box below this page, or to contact me directly, email me at tyler at manwithcode.com. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.